When you become a foster carer, it's likely you'll be faced with new words and jargon, and sometimes deciphering this needs practice. Understanding the different types of fostering can really help you on your way to knowing the kind of fostering arrangement that's suited to you. First, emergency fostering. This is when a child needs a fostering family quickly and most often will only last a couple of days or weeks. Short term fostering. This doesn't work how you may think. A child or young person may stay with their foster carers for two years, but this will still be considered a short term arrangement. Simply put, short term means there is a plan for that child to move on, whether back to their birth parents or a family member. It doesn't always happen though, as any foster carer will tell you, plans quickly change. If the child's short term foster carer can't keep them longer term, they'll need to transition to a new family who can. Which takes us to long term fostering. If a young person is in foster care long term, then they're likely to be in care until they are ready to live independently. It means there are no plans for them to return home to another family member. So if a child is five, they'll be in with their foster family for at least 11 years. If they're 15, it's a minimum of three years. Despite the time difference, both are considered in long-term fostering. So what happens when a child turns 16? They may, may move on to supported accommodation where they'll have key workers and access to other services. Most likely though, they'll stay with their foster family. At 18, some young adults stay with their existing foster parents and this is called a staying put arrangement. This is a really valuable time for a young person to gain independent skills and focus on furthering their education with the loving guidance of their fostering family. Sometimes, if their existing foster family can't commit to a staying put agreement, it's possible for them to move families and continue to access the support they need. At Action for Children, we like to minimise the amount of fostering families a child has, which is why our focus is on finding foster families who can commit to the long term. We know plans can change quickly for young people in care, but our goal is to be child-centred and ready for anything. So if plans change and they do need to stay with their carers for longer, they can. Thinking of fostering? Contact us. We're just a click away.